Welcome to Classified Defense Files. Today, we're diving deep into something that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie, but trust me, it's 100% real and it's happening right now. We're talking about China's revolutionary new heat shield technology, and why it could completely redefine the future of flight as we know it. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. For years, engineers and scientists have been hitting a massive roadblock when it comes to pushing the boundaries of speed and atmospheric re-entry. I'm talking about heat. When you're flying at hypersonic speeds, that's like, five times the speed of sound or more, or when a spacecraft slams back into Earth's atmosphere, the friction generates insane temperatures. We're talking thousands of degrees Celsius. Most materials just can't handle that kind of inferno. Think about it. Regular metal alloys start melting way below 2000 degrees Celsius. Even SpaceX's Starship, which is a marvel of engineering, has heat shield tiles that can only withstand around 1371 degrees Celsius. That's hot, but it's got limits. But get this. Chinese scientists have just dropped a bombshell. They've developed a brand new carbide ceramic material that can withstand a mind-boggling 3,600 degrees Celsius in an oxidizing environment. Let that sink in for a second, 3,600 degrees Celsius. That's like, hotter than the surface of some stars. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete thermal barrier smash. They've literally shattered the long-standing 3,000 degree limit that has plagued the industry for decades. So, what's the secret sauce? This isn't just some random super material. It's a specially engineered carbide ceramic, packed with elements like hafnium, tantalum, zirconium, and tungsten. The magic happens because of its unique oxide layer structure. Imagine a super tough tungsten skeleton, and then all these other elements form oxides that fill in the gaps, creating an impenetrable barrier. This protective layer basically tells oxygen, nope, you're not getting in here. Preventing further oxidation and keeping the material intact even in the most extreme conditions. And how did they develop this so fast? They used something called a high-throughput laser testing platform. Instead of going through a super long and expensive wind tunnel testing phase, they could zap these materials with lasers, simulating extreme heat, and observe their performance in real time. Talk about working smart, not just hard. They're even using AI to optimize the material further and potentially lower production costs. AI helping AI. You love to see it. Now, let's talk about the impact. This isn't just a cool science experiment. This is a game changer for the future of flight, and honestly, for humanity's reach into the cosmos. First up, hypersonic flight. Imagine flying from New York to London in less than an hour. That's the promise of hypersonic travel. But the biggest hurdle has always been the materials. With this new heat shield, we're talking about vehicles that can fly faster, for longer, and with incredible durability. This means Enhanced performance. Hypersonic jets and missiles can operate at even higher Mach numbers, making them incredibly fast and efficient. New designs. Engineers are no longer constrained by the old thermal limits. They can design more aggressive, aerodynamic shapes, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Military advantage. Let's be real, this has huge implications for defense. More advanced, resilient hypersonic weapon systems mean a significant shift in global power dynamics. It's a race, and China just took a massive leap forward. Next, and this is huge, space exploration and re-entry. Think about spacecraft coming back to Earth. They hit the atmosphere like a brick wall, generating insane heat. This new material could mean safer re-entry, more robust and safer re-entry capsules. We could potentially reduce the need for heavy, single-use ablative heat shields, which means more payload capacity or lighter vehicles. Reusable spacecraft. This is the holy grail. If your heat shield can handle repeated re-entries without significant degradation, it paves the way for truly reusable spacecraft, drastically cutting down the cost of space launches. Imagine space travel becoming as common as air travel. Planetary probes. 
for exploring planets with super thick, hot atmospheres, like Venus. This heat shield could allow probes to dive deeper and gather more data than ever before. And it doesn't stop there. This material isn't just for rockets and jets. We're talking about potential applications in high-temperature industrial processes, advanced energy systems, and even next-gen propulsion systems. This is foundational material science, people, and it's going to ripple across so many industries. All right, let's get straight to the core, the material itself. This isn't your grandma's ceramic. We're talking about a brand new carbide ceramic that's been engineered at a molecular level to laugh in the face of extreme heat. And when I say extreme, I mean 3,600 degrees Celsius. To put that in perspective, that's almost 6,500 degrees Fahrenheit. For context, the surface of the sun is around 5,500 degrees Celsius. So yeah, this stuff is basically sunproof. The magic recipe includes a powerful blend of elements, hafnium, tantalum, zirconium, and tungsten. Now, these aren't just thrown together randomly. The genius is in the multi-component design, which allows them to create a material with properties that go way beyond what any single one of these elements could achieve on its own. It's like the Avengers of material science, each element bringing its own superpower to the team. So, how does it actually work? The key innovation lies in its unique oxide layer structure. Imagine a super strong, heat-resistant tungsten-based skeleton forming the backbone of this material. Now, here's where it gets really clever. The other elements, the hafnium, tantalum, and zirconium, form oxides that fill in and reinforce this tungsten skeleton. This creates an incredibly dense and stable barrier. When exposed to extreme heat and oxygen, this oxide layer forms on the surface, but instead of degrading, it acts like a shield within a shield. It prevents oxygen from penetrating deeper into the material, effectively stopping the oxidation process in its tracks. It's like having an automatic, self-healing armor that gets stronger the hotter it gets. Now, let's talk about how this stacks up against what we've been using. For decades, the 3000 degrees Celsius thermal barrier has been the Everest of material science, a limit that seemed almost impossible to overcome. Existing solutions just couldn't cut it. Metal alloys. These are great for many applications, but when you hit temperatures above 2000 degrees Celsius, they start to degrade rapidly. Not ideal for a hypersonic vehicle screaming through the atmosphere. SpaceX Starship Heat Shield Tiles. Don't get me wrong, these are incredible. They're designed to handle the fiery re-entry of a massive rocket. But even these advanced tiles top out around 1371 degrees Celsius. That's less than half of what China's new material can withstand. The difference is monumental. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift. By breaking the 3000 degree barrier and reaching 3600 degrees Celsius, China has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for aerospace engineering. We're talking about materials that can endure conditions previously thought impossible, leading to vehicles that are faster, more durable, and capable of sustained operation in environments that would melt anything else. And how did they get here so quickly? They didn't just rely on traditional, time-consuming methods. They accelerated their research using a high-throughput laser testing platform. This allowed them to rapidly test and analyze material samples under simulated extreme conditions, gathering data at an unprecedented rate. Plus, they're leveraging the power of AI to further optimize the material's performance and even work on reducing production costs. It's a testament to how cutting-edge research and advanced computing can fast-track breakthroughs. So, what does this all mean for the future? This isn't just about making things hotter. It's about unlocking new design freedoms. Engineers can now envision hypersonic aircraft with more aggressive aerodynamic profiles, knowing the materials can handle the thermal stress. It means spacecraft re-entry can be safer and more efficient, potentially paving the way for truly reusable vehicles that make space travel more accessible and affordable. And it extends beyond aerospace, think about advanced energy systems, industrial furnaces, or even next-gen propulsion where extreme heat management is critical. This carbide ceramic isn't just a material, it's a key that unlocks the next generation of high-performance engineering. It's a testament to human ingenuity, and it's happening right now. What do you think about the technical details of this breakthrough? 
Are there other materials or design innovations you want me to deep dive into? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more mind-blowing tech breakdowns.